Hi yo, welcome to Williams Weather. There's a polar vortex expected to impact much of the country as we head towards Christmas. And as a major snowstorm expected as well. And will that ruin your holiday plans and give you a white Christmas? I'll be breaking that all down coming up in this video. Alright, let's look at your temperature precipitation outlook before we look at the temperatures and see if that polar vortex will verify here in the blue. Y'all gonna be below average. Out west in the red, y'all gonna be above average. Now, this is really, really dark blue, so that's gonna be really below normal as far as temperatures go. This takes us out into Christmas time, so this is the week of Christmas. Uh, your 14 day outlook, just about the same, really. Above average out west in the red, and below average out east in the blue. Now, as far as precipitation goes, below normal precip bands from eastern Tennessee all the way out into California, but above average precip is expected in Washington all the way into Maine, all the way down into Florida, and as far as southern Texas. Now, take the 14 day outlook, all the way out into New Year's Eve, below normal precipitation is expected, western Pennsylvania, all the way out into California. Now, above average precipitation is expected from Minnesota, all the way out west into Washington, as well as in eastern New York, all the way up into Maine, Florida, and far southern Texas. Now, let's go take a look at the temperatures to see if this polar vortex will verify and see what exact temperature you could expect. This takes us all the way out into New Year's Eve. Looks like the polar vortex will start to set up by around, around the 20th. We're in the negatives up in the Dakotas, in Minnesota, freezing down by Tennessee. Mountain states, y'all in the single digits. Northeast, you're gonna be right around freezing. Only really nice spots gonna be right around Texas and California, 40s are, are comfortable temperatures for anybody. But right around Christmas time is really when that polar vortex is going to start setting in for the central half of the country. Single digits into the negatives up in the Montana and the Dakotas and Minnesota area. We'll take a look at the wind chills here in a little bit. It feels like temperatures are going to be yeah, really going to be cold. If you have any pets outside, bring them in. Don't leave them out there in that cold. If you're outside, then bundle up. If you're not bundled up, you're gonna get frostbite pretty quick. Like Chris and his Speedo over there, he better not be wearing that Speedo. If he's outside, your nuts are gonna be getting frostbitten. So we head towards Christmas time, Christmas Eve, right around eight o'clock in the morning. Like negative 20 in Northern North Dakota, down to negative 30 in Minnesota. Oof, that's very cold. Single digits as you get into Iowa, Illinois, up in the teens. Down in Florida, below freezing for y'all. Down there, upper 40s in California, Texas. As we get into right around 1 o'clock, almost 20 degrees in Indiana. Things are starting to warm up down by Florida, down in the 50s and 60s down there, and 40s in the Alabama area. Got like almost 70s down in southern California, and mid, mid to upper 50s in the 60s down in Oklahoma and Texas. As kids head to bed on Christmas Day, it's like negative temperatures going to be setting in for the central half of the country. Down in the Dakotas and Nebraska, Iowa area, the northeast is going to be frigid as well. As we head into Christmas morning, 8 o'clock in the morning, looks like that polar vortex is still going to be setting in. It's like this cold snap is going to last for a while up until New Year's Day. Now let's look at the wind chills. Looks like the negative 45 degree wind chills are expected by the 21st up in North Dakota. Jeez. It looks like record setting temperatures are expected this week. Now these are the feels like temperatures. These aren't the actual temperatures, so you'll be stepping outside. It's 10 degrees, for example, it feels like negative 20. It's going to be a record setting week. Now, other than temperatures to go, is severe weather expected after we had that severe weather outbreak that brought tornadoes to the deep south? Don't look like much severe weather is expected. Just general thunderstorms in southern Florida and not much after that. But that's good news. Now, as far as the winter storms go, is there any winter storms expected? Looks like the northeast part of the country, there's going to be some impacts moderate impacts up in the Maine and Vermont, New Hampshire area. New York and impacts by the lakes there. Looks like like effects snows expect there. The Dakotas into Nebraska and Idaho. Let's look at the excessive rainfall outlooks. Not much going on. Take a look at the radar here. See what kind of winter storms are firing up. Let's take a look at the radar. Looks like most of the central part of the United States and the Dakotas all the way down in Nebraska. Blizzard warning in effect just for blowing snow. And this goes in effect until 6 o'clock central time on Friday. Whiteout conditions are expected. You already got lots and lots of snow over there. And there's winter storm warning in effect as well. This is for blowing snow as, as well. Now there's winter storm warnings issued for the northeast part of the country spanning from central to eastern Pennsylvania all the way up into Maine. Now the timing of these vary. Snowfall totals are expected to reach 6 to 12 and upwards of more in part of the northeast part of the country. I'll be breaking down the forecast models here in a little bit to see exactly how much you're going to get. This goes until 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday in Eastern Time. So if you have to get out, please be careful. It could be pretty treacherous out there. And it looks like it's going to be like effect snow in Michigan. One weather advisory issued ahead of that, four to seven inches of like effect snow up into one o'clock in the morning on Sunday in Eastern Time. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and take a look at the weather models. I'm looking at the 500 millibar jet stream. I'm going to push this out into the 23rd. 
You see here's a trough and ridge pattern that's setting up, ridging out west and trough out east. And push out to the 23rd as a major trough starts setting up over the Ohio Valley and deep south by the 23rd at 8 o'clock in the morning. And this could bring with it a pretty big snowstorm. We'll look at the simulated radar here in a little bit to see if that verifies. The bowling ball trough sets up over the Carolinas by Christmas time. It looks like we're going to be in that pattern for a while. Now let's look at the simulated radar to see if that snowstorm verifies. We already know that there's a major snowstorm happening in the northeast and blizzard-like conditions in the Dakotas, which is bringing 8 to 14 inches of snowfall for the northeast and an additional inch to the Dakotas with 50 mile an hour winds. So if you have to get out in those areas, please be careful. Don't get stuck in that ditch. We've got some lake effect snow showers in Michigan and Pennsylvania as well, into the, the Smoky Mountains. Got some snowfall in Montana and northern Washington. Looks like we have a pretty big storm system setting up by the 19th, but this ain't gonna be our main story. Our main story is gonna be right around Christmas time, right around the 23rd. As you can see, that storm system just splits up and the snowstorm goes up into Canada and the rainstorm goes south into Florida. But our main story is gonna be right around the 22nd into the 23rd as a potential major snowstorm starts setting up over the Ohio Valley, Midwest, and deep south. Now, all the malls are in disagreement of where the snowstorm will set up. It looks like pretty much this area right here where my arrow's at is the zone of where you could possibly see snowfall right around Christmas time. And if you do get snowfall before Christmas, it will stick around for a while as it will be pretty frigid out. It'll be below freezing and won't melt for a long time. I will keep you all updated on the Williams Weather Facebook page in the description below. There will be a link to the Williams Weather Facebook page. I will keep you all updated if any changes occur. It looks like it will stick around all the way through Christmas Eve morning for the Ohio Valley and pushes into the northeast as a major snowstorm sets up over there, possibly a blizzard. It's like some snow showers over in New Mexico by Christmas Eve morning into Christmas Eve night. It's like Christmas Eve morning, so could be seeing some snow showers it's eight o'clock in the morning looks like you could be seeing some snow showers in minnesota and the north dakota into canada in the northeast part of the country new hampshire and vermont rain showers in washington and we pushed this into about one o'clock about the same really snow showers up in montana northern half of the country seeing snow looks like by the 26th another storm storm is going to be setting up out there here and the Dakotas in Montana as well. So looks like it's gonna be snowing for a while over there in Montana. Like Indiana can be seeing snow before New Year's Eve. Now let's look at the snowfall totals lastly. We already know that the northeast part of the country is seeing about eight to 14 inches of snowfall, possibly more in some areas. An additional inch in the Dakotas. Push this into the 20th, about two to four inches of snowfall expected with this snowstorm early in the week. So if you have to get out, please be careful. So around on 23rd, the Christmas snowstorm is gonna be bringing about three to six over here in eastern Kansas, up here in the foothills of Appalachia, upwards of eight to 12, possibly 16 inches in some areas, 20 inches over here in Virginia. As you see below here is the our snowfall totals, color-coded. Looks like up in the northeast, y'all could see upwards of 20 inches as well. Up in the northeast, eight to 12, it's gonna be it for a while. And like effects snow, Michigan, an additional two to four inches here in Indiana. So that'll do it for this video. Basically sum it up. There could be a big snowstorm in the Midwest and the Valley on Christmas, so you could see a white Christmas. But in the next video, I will have an official Christmas Day white Christmas video out. So stay tuned for that. So if you like the content, please give it a like. Comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching. Never stop forecasting.